Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious and this is my July wrap up. I'm still in a reading funk. I'm not reading as much as I want to, but hey, the books were read. We're going to share them and hopefully add to your TBR. Hey, you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Precious Reads with a Z. Um, or you can follow me on TikTok uh, on Precious Reads. Uh, so let's get into it. The first book that I completed in the month of July was Brutal Prince by Sophia Locke. <laughs> it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Ada is what I want all our mafia princesses to be like. Ada was, she was feisty, she was determined, she had her own back and she was just her own person. And Caleb, he was just adding to the wonder that is um, Ada. I love this book. I rated it five stars. What is it about? It is about um, a mafia princess. She's an Italian mafia princess and a Irish mafia prince um they sort of the the families are very at odds with each other they're competitive they're you know they're mafia people in one city basically so there's gonna be some clashes and ada and her brothers go to calum's sister's birthday party of some sort and she she acts like a damn fool and does something stupid there that then causes a chain reaction of events her brother gets hurt she does something even more stupid and her father and calum's father they come together because this kind of stupidity and tomfoolery has to come to an end so they broke a deal where the two of them have to get married. Yes, it is an arranged marriage um, novella, novel, and mm, was it good? Was it good? Kayla was taken aback at how just amazing Ada is, and Ada was taken aback by Kayla. She thought he's just like the stuffy shirt that's just boring and annoying, and he was more passionate than he seemed and yeah sparks craziness fun i loved it it was my first sophie lock and yeah it won't be my last it will not be my last okay the next book that i read was a manga i got it off netgalley it was volume one of boys run riot ah coming of age manga about a boy or yeah a boy who is coming to terms with his gender and also learning that it's not all about the pain when you're a teenager it's not all about this process of this metamorphosis and there's other things as well and you can also have fun and there's other people in this world that are not all about you know ruining your life they just want to get by themselves and i think it's like it's something that we all sort of learn over our lives that everything we don't have to be self-obsessed and stuck in our minds like most of the time and yeah it is important and it's also important to express yourself in different ways and for people to respect that but it's not all a struggle you have to like manage it and it's meeting different people that are carrying their own different crosses and you know helping each other out um these two boys start a fashion label and you know with this starting a fashion label start to find confidence within themselves about themselves not just about their struggles and yeah it was really really good and i want to read the next volumes i think this is going to be a fantastic um series um and i think volume two was just released i think i saw it on kindle so yeah pretty pretty good next book okay i rated boys on riot five out of five stars it was excellent and the art was pretty pretty good uh the next book that i read was gifting me to his best friend a touch of taboo um novel by katie roberts it's, i think it's book two Phenomenal, spectacular, amazing. How else do we describe this? It's a male, male, female romance. Um, Emma and her husband have been married for some time. Uh, they have an amazing marriage. They are in love with each other. 
and they go away to this cabin with um, her husband's best friend and she's always noticed that her husband looks a certain way it's, there's something between her husband and his friend nothing's actually happened it's just small glances you know here and there and she finds him attractive as well and she's always wondered why why aren't we why aren't we together why and their questions answered and uh, the questions asked and answered and phenomenal spectacular amazing we need more i've been on a male male female kick as of late and i haven't been finding a lot that i enjoy because sometimes you feel an attraction between two couples but i love when the author makes it a triad like a proper triad aka lillian Locke, the queen um with three of hearts phenomenal spectacular i want more i want more <laughs> the next book that i completed was feed by v device it was a novella a monster romance if you will a succubus hasn't fed in a while and she has particular tastes she orders up some appetizers <laughs> she calls us she calls up this um like dating service or special needs service and they send her somebody over to assist her with her you know her needs and when she opens the door lo and behold her office rival and she's like why 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 this guy why and she's really in a bind because she hasn't fit in a while so she lets him in they have this little banter a little bit because he knows she hates uh, him and they have this sort of contentious relationship but she's in a bind he offers to assist her she's kind of not willing and then things happen and there's a special appendage there's antennae there's wings that assist in flying during sex gosh <laughs> i rated that as well actually i rated that four stars only because i wanted more <laughs> i wanted more there's two i think there's another book in the series i just i think it's skin i just downloaded it um i don't know if it follows the same couple i don't know i just saw it was the second book in this series so i just downloaded it did i read the synopsis no do i care no i'm just gonna read the book yeah <laughs> Avita Vice is on that list of one of those authors that I just automatically just I know I'm gonna like whatever I'm reading the next book that I read was a Rebecca Witherspoon it's been a while since I read a Rebecca Witherspoon this was so sweet it's book one in a like what is the series called sugar baby yeah book one in sugar baby it's a sugar baby romance we follow a girl who is down on her luck she just lost her job and her friend you know says you know what let's sign up to this sugar baby service you may enjoy it you know she's kind of apprehensive but you know she goes along she tags along to an event it's like a matchmaking event for this baby sugar baby service and yeah she's not feeling it so she kind of sneaks out and she's sitting alone what she thinks she's sitting alone like in a corner somewhere and there is i think his name is max i forgot he's sitting there and he is also chilling also seems to be like hiding from the proceedings and um she's they start chatting it up and realize he's older he owns this company that match makes baby babies and sugar daddies i don't know what they're called and they get into a, an, an arrangement but soon they realize that you know this is not a sugar baby sugar daddy arrangement this is like real it was nice it was nice it was as the title says it was sweet but it was kind of short for me i know it is book one in a trilogy but i didn't particularly enjoy the writing i felt like a drag even though it's a novella and it's pretty short i just i don't know it just didn't it didn't appeal to me and then i picked up it was a suggestion on kindle unlimited sanguine by sierra simone kind of cute it's a forbidden taboo romance uh vampire and priest go on a date 
read it. It's like 90 pages long. You're welcome. It was nice. I think it was only like, yeah, it was like less than 90 pages, I think. But yeah, it was pretty good. Then, Flame and Starlight by, oh, Sanguine, I rated three stars. I rated Sanguine three stars. Um, Even though it was pretty short, I thought this needed Katie Robert treatment. It was too much plot <laughs> in a 60 page book. I'm going to hell and I'm okay with it. Okay, um, Flame and Starlight by Dana Isali. Okay, so going into this, I really thought it's going to be similar to A Court of Thorns, Court of Thorns and Roses, whatever. I like, never finished that book. Um, and it was Dark High Lord Faye. Human girl taken from the human world. She's something else. But I thought it's gonna be like a smut filled ooh, version. Nah, no, no, that was not it. It was not it. Um, there was a smut. It was slow burn. I didn't like it. <laughs> All of Book Talk is like obsessed with this book. I read it and I was like, it put me in a slump. Do you know that? I'm already struggling to read and this book just, no. Nah. So I don't want to say anything bad about it because somebody took time and wrote this, but I would have preferred if there was more slut, uh, smut, um, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, no. The final book that I read in July, ah! My favorite out of all of them. Let's talk about the Kraken by Lillian Locke. <laughs> Tentacles. Cons consent is sexy, people. Let, let's, let, let's. Consent is sexy. Every time Gideon was like, wait, your hormones are thinking, you know, let's. Yeah. I was just like, I love you, Gideon. Mm, mm, mm. Consent is sexy. So, a matchmaking witch, an immortal kraken. <sighs> he sees her at a coffee shop and bam, my mate. My mate. He knows it instantaneously, but he, you know, he's like, oh, let me take this. He's a private investigator. So, he's like, take me, let's take it slow. And he starts stalking her like following her learning about her from a distance you know <laughs> it was so cute it was there's a whole plot and a plot you'd be interested in they have a session in her bathhouse ah oh, it was beautiful he brought back her hope again even though she's a matchmaking which she's lost her way a little bit she's questioning what she's doing she's not sure if this is what she should be doing but he brings that all back he makes her believe in love again and the plus is we get mace and sophia and a little bit of Asa in the background pining over Gregory um, or crying over Gregory because I think it's a prequel to Three of Hearts. <sighs> Phenomenal. I gave it four stars. I gave it four stars because why did I give it four stars? I don't know, but I didn't feel like it was, you know, as great as Three of Hearts. I think now everything I'm... Three of Hearts is like the standard and everything I compare to it and it doesn't really match up. I'm not saying that it's bad or not as good. I just like, it's not as good as Three of Hearts. But no book is as good as Three of Hearts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I read that first. Um, that is my July wrap up. I had a pretty good month in July. I'm hoping that August is going to be just as good. It is August already. I started with, <laughs> it's a book talk favorite that I thought is going to disappoint me. 
it hasn't. I'm 50% into it and then it hasn't. It is getting through that, you know, that 50% mark where now they've consummated their relationship and then you're like, okay, now, now what? We know they're going to break up. We know something's going to happen. Like, please. So I'm kind of like hesitant, but I'm excited. Catch me on Instagram. Visit me. See my my instagram pics they're kind of nice sometimes okay people they're kind of nice sometimes and see me on tiktok i put my recs um on kick on tiktok um yeah